<coughs> okay, I'm going to show you how to resize and redo uh, the uh, resolution for printing using Prate Shop Pro X5. First of all, I have open a there was a half-grown bear outside my window a couple of weeks ago. We, they don't hibernate here. It doesn't get cold enough for them. It gets cold enough for us. And uh, it's we surprised each other. And um, it's a, a capture from a video. So it's long. It's widescreen. And I have a background image here. I don't like working on the background images simply because... Uh, if you accidentally come up here to file and click save, then you've completely overridden the original. I don't like that idea. I want to keep my originals. So I'm going to duplicate the background layer and click and drag the background to the trash can to close it. Now I'm going to work on a copy of the background. First thing you have to do is set the proportions for your 6x4 or whatever size printing you want. Click on the crop tool. Click on presets, and you can see they have a number of them. 2x3 is in parentheses 6x4. There's 5x7. There's also 4x5, which is the same as 8x10. Now we're not we're not setting up uh, absolute sizes here. We're going to set the size in a minute. We just want the proportions to be the same. Remember in math class and arithmetic when you had ratios and proportions and you thought, oh, I'll never have to use this. Well, we use it a lot in photography. So click on the 1, 2 by 3 in parentheses, 4 by 6, and that sets up your crop boundary. I'm going to move this over a little bit here. Okay. Then click the check mark to apply it. And now we have it in the right, the sides, the length and the width are in the right proportions. Next, you can go to Image Resize, or up here, there's the Resize icon. It's the little square. You probably can't see it if I hold my cursor over it. It's the little square with the arrow shooting up to the upper right with a kind of transparent larger square behind it and that brings up the dialog. Now I already have advanced settings check marked and when you see it it's going to look like this. Check mark advanced settings, check mark resample using and you, you can just leave it at smart size. Make sure the lock aspect ratio down here is check marked. Resize all layers, uh, that's the default. Uh, sometimes you're going to have two or three layers in the layers panel and maybe you'll just want to resize one. You'll have to come in here and uncheck that. It doesn't matter for us today because we only have one layer. Okay, notice that width and height are locked. If you change one, the autom other one automatically changes to this aspect ratio which we set using the crop tool. It's one and a half to one. But we're going to, right now, we're going to change the resolution to 300 and then we're going to come up here and change the width to 6 you notice the height automatically changes to 4 we're going to click OK and there that picture is ready to be printed I hope this helps you uh, it, it seems confusing at first, but after a while you get used to how a, any software works and you go, oh, okay, that's not hard anymore. 